Well, as Katie pointed out, colder winter temperatures will be here soon, and there are some people in El Paso who are in need of a blanket to help keep warm. That's where the Extreme Weather Task Force steps in, and right now they're conducting their annual blanket drive. Grace Ortiz, the chair of the Extreme Weather Task Force, joins me. Now, Grace, always a pleasure to have you on. How many blankets do you all distribute to in a typical year? On a typical year, winter weather time, uh, we look at over 300 blankets, and that is a blanket to every person in the household. And so right now, we're, the cold is coming in, and we're going to need those blankets really soon. Uh, we don't have any funding, and we rely on the community to donate new blankets at any of your local fire stations here in El Paso and Horizon. And just remember, there's three types of individuals who are most affected by that extreme cold. That's the elderly, persons with disabilities, and small infant children. So if you can donate a blanket, you can make a huge difference in their lives. And you always stress the buddy system. Talk about that, would you? The buddy system is just, you're, it, we all know somebody who's a senior, our neighbors, family, friends, aunts, uncles, whatever it is. When we're experiencing those really cold snaps on those days that it's extremely cold outside, I need for you to pick up that phone and check up on them. Make sure they're okay. Make sure they have adequate heating. Make sure that they've eaten, they have taken their meds. Because a lot of times with the cold and if they don't have adequate heating in their home, it can affect their ability to think logically. And so we wanna save lives. And if you can do that on those really, really cold days, be a buddy to a senior, you could possibly be saving a life for those individuals. Grace, I know you're asking for blankets right now. Do you have any in stock to help people at this moment? Right now, we have about 200 blankets in stock. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be very honest with you, everybody in the home gets a blanket, not just that one individual that requests it. So I've seen families who call in and register for a blanket for their grandmother, and I ask how many are in the home, and they say 11. So all 11 will be getting a blanket. So they're gonna go pretty quick. And so again, we rely on the community to help us out by donating those blankets at the local fire stations. That's right, and if you wanna donate a blanket, it has to be brand new, it can't be used. Brand new blanket, drop it off at any El Paso or Horizon City fire station. And if you happen to know of someone who needs a blanket and meets the criteria of the Extreme Weather Task Force program, call 211. Grace Ortiz with the Extreme Weather Task Force. As always, thanks for coming on. Thanks for the invitation.